Hey, time to work out. I know, maybe not your time. Can you hear music? That song. I'm going to go ahead and teach you a few things, maybe, about how to stay in shape as we age. Believe it or not. So I'm going to leave you a little bit of music. Then I'm going to turn that off and let it go down. And I'm going to do some little stretches and exercises. For the shoulders, for the arms. The idea is to try to teach you how to do some of these so that you can get in shape. Okay? When you get older, I know you don't need to be in shape when you're young. So I'm hoping you can see. I may have to adjust the camera a little bit. Some of it's going to be on the ground. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear, but you'll be able to hear some of it. Most of it's watching it. What I'm going to be doing is um, some things called Wee Gong, W-I-I. And that's how we do uh, um, breathing exercises, the diaphragm, and how we do isometrics. So we go ahead and use our muscles against each other to go ahead and build strength and coordination and balance. All these things that you really want to have when you get old so you don't fall down, break a hip, mess yourself up. Now, the triceps, one of the most important muscle groups. We're going to be focusing on that. Your shoulders, incredibly difficult to keep shoulders in good condition as you age. Right now I'm suffering an injury back over here. But your idea is to keep these all strong so if you have to fall like I did, they'll catch. Okay? And a twitch muscle. There's a fast grabbing muscle, and then there's a strength muscle that's a much slower muscle for picking up more weight. Okay? Now, I'm letting some people get on your high season. Um, they're not letting anybody know this is going on usually, so we're not expecting many people. But, in a moment, it's going to get quiet. And it's about paradise. This is your paradise, the vessel. You make this grounded, healthy, and I was in pain most of my life. I speak from experience. It doesn't have to be that way. So, as I go into this, I've got a mirror behind me. So you can go ahead and see, perhaps, the other view of the moves that we're going to try to do. So now, the music's over, and we're going to see how this works. I'm going to push this down a little, maybe. Come on, there we go. So you'll be able to see me better. Because some of the stuff we're going to do, I'll do up close. I'm going to do a little stretch, of course. And you don't have to do it as much as I do it. You don't have to. If you can, go ahead. But simple things, when I do things, I space my feet, generally shoulder width apart. And the goal is always to keep the body Vertical, I'm not leaning on one side, leaning on the other side. You want to try to build the muscles up so the musculature holds your body erect. Because of my back being broken when I was a child, I have a distortion. I'm not sure you can see it, but in my thoracic, right in there, I'm broken in the middle. And so I have a bunch of bone spurs and things like that. And I had scoliosis for a long time. So it doesn't mean you can't get better. That's the point of all this. I'm going to show you that it is possible to get better. Now, I was fairly old having to use a, um, um, I use a pain relief light. If you haven't used one, they're infrared. They work really good. 15 minute cycles. You can get it for about $50. I highly recommend them. So I was using that three times in the morning, every morning for my back. So I get out of bed and walk straight. I was 50, 53 years old, 53. So now when you bend over and I'm going to touch your hands to the floor, you don't, bend what you do is you only bend the middle you gotta learn to bend and then keep bending now they say don't don't grab and pull but i like to grab just slightly pull you know bend them, don't keep your legs totally straight slight bend is okay but not this stuff what you're doing here is trying to go kiss your knees see and if you want put your hands behind here so that you hug your knees and if you can all the way around like that so you get all the way back there 
Pull. Pull, pull. That kind of stretches out that lower back for you, though. Yeah. I know. A lot of you are not going to be able to do that. While you're down there, you can also try to turn a little bit one side or the other. So that you can stretch those hips. Don't pull too hard. Don't hurt yourself. First time you try this, be very, very careful. Or else you'll be bitching at me the next day. You're not a fantasy character. I am. So you can't do all the things I can. So don't try, please. Because later on, I'm going to become a fantasy character. Now, so on this part here, there's also this how wide can you stretch your feet? Because you want to go ahead and get this kind of stretched out. So your goal, and this is kind of show you goals. Goal is to be getting the part wide. And then, of course, be able to drop down and do the splits. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm not real good at this, but ah, you want to be able to get your legs in a straight line and then get your crotch all the way down to the floor. And then be able to stand like this, go up, over. Now, if I was really good, you see my, <laughs> the crotch on the floor ain't that good. So, this side I'm not as good. Mm. Uh, you can't go all the way down the floor. Okay. So, when you're down here, you can also do kind of slightly push up here. You can't put your head on the floor. That's a good thing. That stretches out. You'll feel that in here, trust me. You'll know you're doing it. So then you're going down. Do kind of a push up. You can do a one arm push up. Or you can do a no arm push up. Be really careful on that no arm push up. If you're not ready for that one, <clears throat> you might not get up. So go down, use your arms. That way, stretch out those inner calves. Now, you can go like this, walk your way back up. You can go down to some squat exercises. Now, a squat exercise is to stretch out. So you want to go down. You just really just sit into the, put your elbows underneath, sit your knees into your elbows, into your armpits if you can, and uh, pause like that for a minute. Oh, my knees, my knees, you're going to say is what you're going to say. I'm not saying that, but you might want to say that. Some people would. Now, that's not the hard one. Believe it or not. Why don't you stand up, stretch. Oh, yeah. Stretch. Push your thumbs right here, right here inside your hip, right above that hip. used to that you might pass out I don't recommend that make sure you don't have anything behind your head one of the things you gonna want to do and we'll get up to it in a second but you're gonna be doing these hips same place for your thumbs that thumb is going right in there you'll feel it it's a nice tender spot and that way you push push forward push around ah, that way you're pushing it all the way up and leaning back on your circles Later on, when you do hip circles. Okay, so hip circles are real important. You need a wider stance than your normal stance. So you probably put your feet comparable to your elbows. Then we go out and keep your balance. All that way around, all the way outside. You're moving your leg all the way around, straighten the leg all the way around and back over. Oh, okay, that stretches out this middle torso. Now, Normally when I start, I don't do all this stuff. I'm just trying to show you some things you can hope to do later on. This is a fun one. You don't do anything but stand. You go like this. See this crotch like this? Ah, this is called the horse. It's got lots of different names. You go stand like this. Yeah? You can stand here like this with me. See, so you just kind of crouch down a little bit. Yeah. And see, 
This way, while we're standing like this, with the legs in this nice position, you kind of have a slight bend. You're not bending all the way down when you're 90. You're just kind of a little less. You can go 90. That's really good. So you're 90, like you got a almost full turn. And you sit here. And we chat. If you're with me right now and chatting, you might find this to be a little difficult. Yeah. They say you're supposed to be able to do this for five minutes. Now, five minutes will seem like a long time when you're standing like this. Like it seems like a really long time. If you're doing it with me right now, in the morning, tomorrow, you're going to swear this is a long time already while you're watching me with me doing this. But we're not going to do it for too long right now. We're just showing you. All right? Stand up again. All right? Okay, this tummy muscle, what you want to do is be able to go ahead and build up your diaphragm using your breathing technique. You see, 75% of your body weight is supposed to be carried by your stomach muscles. If you don't, you'll be carried by your back. In my case, I'd be in pain all the time. I don't like being in pain all the time, so I'd rather be in good shape. Had I known that at 30 years old, I wouldn't have been in pain for the first 50 years of my life. But, that aside. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you real quick a breathing exercise. It's not one you're going to do normally when you're doing a workout because you're breathing too hard. But, you want to learn how to breathe through your diaphragm. Down here. In the belly. In Korea, Don Chan, you call it. The battery. And it's at the bottom of what we call your chakras or your scalar wave production centers, if you want to use the scientific terms, between the magnetic side and the electrical side of the body that interact and create a frequency. And these different levels create different frequencies, and as you master them, then you're able to go ahead and generate woof, enormous amounts of power. Know what I mean? So, battery, firing mechanisms, intellectualization, spiritualization, manifestation. Why am I teaching you this? Because to build bah, pure salvage outposts, to build villages, whether it's your God that you're praying to, or the higher power that you are going to need from whatever source you want to call it, um, you're going to have to use this vehicle, this vessel, this bioelectrical computer, computer that when attached to the ground properly is an amazing machine now when it's not when it's filled with a bunch of trash and garbage and dust and dirt in the middle of it and it doesn't operate properly well then it's not such a quite an amazing machine so we're going to try to teach you if you wish to learn and anybody doesn't get out of here go troll someplace else i am not here for the people that don't want to do anything so let's show you something else ready some of the things you can do later I have a cute party trick. I'm going to show you the party trick. This is your goal. One of the goals. All right. This is called the lay on the floor party trick. Hi, Cam. Cam Dooley. That sounds like a younger guy name. How old are you, Cam? Is that a woman? Or man, how do you know with a Cam these days? I don't know. Okay. Anybody can try this one. Anybody can do it. I want you to get on here and say, hey, I did it. I did it. I did it. I can do what a 65-year-old man can do. Hey. Whew, whoopee. Huh? Okay. Ready? Watch. All right, first thing you do, you got to lay on the floor. I don't know if you're able to see this. Ooh, I don't want to knock that mirror down. Maybe it's really bad. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know if you see it. Okay, my fingers all the way out there. Uh, I'm going to do it from the other way. Okay. Party trick. Ready? Fingers all the way out. Fingers touching, thumbs touching, toes down. Ready? Ready? Okay, party trick is how do you get up? Without touching anything but your hand and your feet. Ready? Hey, ho. All the way out. Up. up. There we go. Up, up, and up, and up, up. Maybe. I know, you couldn't see probably. Oh, well, anyway. The way you're doing is that you're doing a, it's called a Chinese um, push up, a Chinese plank push up. And so you gotta be able to do those. What that amounts to is you're sitting there with your, hands all the way out in front of you to do your push-up and you put your fingers down on trigger tips to make it extra special and then you gotta go ready these are your fingertip push-ups that you want to be able to do and talk so you can show off 
to the young kids. Now, each of these little tricks just kind of demonstrate things that I thought, if you told me I was gonna do at this age, I'd say, yeah, you're crazy, <laughs> never ever happened. But you can. Some of the tricks, simple things for exercise, we're gonna do now. This is balance and learning how to go ahead and be coordinated. Okay. Simple, simple. Starting with the feet. Normally in the morning on the routine, this is the way we start. Down here, balance. Rotating hand and foot. And then the other way. Woohoo! One way is going to be harder. Okay? Got it? Ideally 10 each way. Then the other foot. You're going to have one that's easier. Woohoo! And then the other way. Okay. Got it? That's ankle. Bottom of your foot. You've already done some of these. Ups and downs. A little bit of stretch there. I did those earlier, but okay. Now, another one you're going to do. Balance. At first, you're going to start off just doing this. Down here. Your goal is to get up to here. Oops, balance. Pow. Pow. Same with both feet. So you're gonna start doing these, oh, both ways, I'm sorry. Up, 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 up. That's that foot. Then you do this one. Whoops. Get your balance. And then the other way. Okay. Now, to get your balance, by the way, focus on an object three or five foot in front of you. Pick something that you have there, a focus point. If you look at that, it's easier to keep your balance. If you start looking around, your head moves, oh, you can never do it. So, pick a point on the wall or in front of you. I usually pick a point in front of me and below. And that's how you do that for the balance exercises. The rest of them, you want to have your eyes closed. Get used to operating in space without your eyes. Now, that was knees. Next, I mean, the waist, we did that. I'm going to show you, though. So, we did the knees. Now, we come up and do the waist. Fwah! Yeah. And normally you try to do like six. I'm gonna speed this up. Here we go. Oh, two. Oh. Okay. Got that? Good. It's a little hot in here. Now. Ready. Now we go into the upper body, per se. We start with the wrist, which I showed you, but on this one, instead of just doing your wrist down here, watch my head. So, my wrist and my head are going to be the same. Now, keep in mind, i got the same position all the time to balance my vertical. A lot of people are crooked. You want to straighten your spine up and use your muscles, so preferably a mirror if you have one available so you can see yourself to be sure you're doing proper form, which is more important than repetitions. Three good ones in proper form is much better than five or six or seven in lousy, lousy form. Don't go, okay, I bent over. Oh, that's six. No, if you didn't do one. Uh, or at least try and get that far. You didn't do it. Get out of here. Go play in somebody else's toy box. You're playing around. Take up space. Give it a turn. Give it a try. All right. Now, next one. Um, I always joke around with people. It's really what you can handle. So this one's simple. 
Watch my head, watch my hand. Both directions. Ready? That direction, other way. You'd be surprised how hard that can be. And you're gonna hear your neck going snap, crackle, pop. Now the other one. Oh yeah. You're gonna feel like you got hydraulic pumps that are moving fluids, and they are. Lymph glands, fluids around the outer part of the brain, circulation, oxygen. That's what you want. It's moving it through your system as you move your head, where your vagus nerve goes through your neck right here. So you're relaxing those muscles, and that affects everything from your heart, blood pressure, everything through this vagus nerve right through your neck right there. And it really is important. And if you have a really stiff neck all the time and you don't do something about it, you ain't loving, you ain't loving life. Ready? So that's the neck. Now, I normally don't go up to the neck. I'm going to do the arms next. So we didn't do all the arms. Here's the rest of the arms. Shoulders. Real important. To start with, real simple one. We're going to dial from that direction all the way to that direction using our arm. Like this. And slow, not fast. And you're going to hear a lot of you, like I did, snap, crackle, pop, rice, krispies in there. It's called bursitis, rheumatitis, arthritis. All the itises are sitting up here in these shoulders about 50 years old if you haven't done this. So, ready? First thing. Off, over. One, two, three. See how I move each time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and all the way out of the back. All right. In the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you don't have any injuries to your shoulder, if you don't have any muscle problems or joint problems at the moment, they're just stiff, hurts, pain, but not serious, you can probably recover it doing these. I used to do 50 per arm per day, four days a week, until all the noises went away, until they worked again. Other arm, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wish you searched that all the way through. It's real important. There's so many positions in that shoulder that are critical. Ah, there you go. Okay. See that? That's a way of flexing your arm, your forearms, in that movement to help run tension up. What you're after is these guys. Ready? Yeah, those guys right there. Okay. All right. What you want them is. How many there are, see? That's why you gotta go so many angles. And then the back of the arm, see that? Yeah. So it takes a lot to connect all those. It really helps to do it in front of a mirror until you learn your physiology, if you don't know it already. It takes a while. Now, that's one for the shoulder. Next, show you two directions. One is this way. Might have showed you this already. All the way out, ah, and circle back. Now normally I like to put that foot length, hold it, anchor it, Put that one, anchor it, tighten up your buttocks, and then everything tight. Okay, all the way up to here. And so that way, with all this tight, flexed, then this hand over here, I push. And then fall, stretch. Yeah, oof. Relax. Breathe in through your nose. Belly breathe in. Relax and breathe in. Flex. Relax. Flex. Ah, relax. The bottom half of your body is tightening up as you pull in and releasing as you go out. Then come the other way. Ah, tighten it up all the way to your buttocks. Ah. 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 Uh, uh, ideally, you want to run that thumb under your armpit. Uh, uh, keep that elbow high that way. Okay. Ready. Pocket it. Holster it. Uh. Ooh. Loosen it back up a little bit. Uh. We have one coming to that next, but we're not there yet. Okay. Ready. Same thing. This time, this anchor. I'm pushing a little bit here. My goal is to push. 
pull, push, relax at that end. This part relaxes, but that's tightening. The tight goes from there as it comes back in, back into here and down into here and into the ground. And then as you push out, out of the ground, back up through you, out there, so this relaxes. And then you grab that when you pull it, and then down, and then So the breathing is the movement of ions, negative ions, into your body and out through the source you want to go through. This movement of energy in ion form is what everything works on. It's just invisible, like electricity, prana, uh, chi, um, Wub is the what it is in the book of Wibble Ring. Wub is Wub. It's that energy you can move through you. And try to show somebody with that energy just how much you care and want to do and that you can possibly do. That I believe you can do more if you tune up this wonderful machine and allow it to work. Like it's supposed to. It's a miracle. Didn't you ever say that about baby? Look at it's a miracle. We don't stop being a miracle at one year old. I hope not at 66. I'm not there yet, but I'm close. So I'm trying to be a miracle until the day I die. That's what God intended for all of us. You didn't stop being a miracle because you're not a baby. You're still your little baby in your arms. And keep treating yourself like a little baby, a little miracle. Because if you don't, who's gonna believe in you? You're the mama and the papa of the little baby that you're holding in your arms called a vessel. It's a gift. It lives. But if you don't treat it well and teach it well and take care of it, because it doesn't have a great mind, it's kind of a dumb little creature. But if you do take care of it, hmm, it's a good baby. Now, a couple more things. Ready? All right. I don't have a fan going because they want the noise, but you know what? Hmm, I might think about that. All right, next time. Ready? I did the shoulders. Now, this is another shoulder exercise. It actually is a movement of this part. It goes neck muscles and back muscles. So I'll kind of show you as I do a couple angles. All right, this one, anchor your feet again, about hip apart. So you can tighten from down, tighten up your buttocks. Each time, this is tightening up for flexing. Relax, tighten, but you want a tight butt. Most, most people want a tight butt. Excuse me. I'm not saying you. Somebody wants a tight butt. Excuse me, I gotta. This shouldn't get me banned. I'm just gonna take the top off. Ah. 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 It's getting hot, guys. I'm sorry. Whew. All right. Now, this one here, what you're doing is it's a shoulder exercise. So you're going over and under, and the idea is working all the muscles in the back and in the front. Okay, so. I'll do this from this side, you can see it. It's a full circle and you're reaching down to the earth and grabbing the earth and pulling the energy up through your body and over and then pushing it back down. So, ready. Oh, you're breathing. In. Ground. Try to breathe in through your nose. Always, always, always through your nose and get the damn masks off. If you're breathing with a mask, doing this exercise with a mask, I want to sweep through there, slap you upside the head. Okay, ready. Typically, would signify the end of a movement. Okay, shite. We had it on the other system. I pissed them off. I took my shirt off. All right, now. I just did that arm and did these movements, okay? Or did I? Okay, you know what they are. Now, there's another one. I gotta stand a little further back. This one takes you up off your toes. And I'll hit that ball, okay? 
All right, gotta have a tall ceiling. Ready? This is a full movement. I come up with the energy out of the ground on toes, pick it all the way up, push it all the way up to the highest point I can in the sky, and bring it all the way down without bending my body. Go through, up, and down. And then when I go the other way, I'm gonna pull the energy up. Okay, so ready? I wanna do four. And the other way. Right, I forgot to start closing my eyes like I normally like to do. And it's a little hard to keep your balance. So I got to keep my eyes open so I don't screw up in front of everybody, right? Yeah. Ready? And then backwards. Now each of these exercises as you do them, the breathing technique that you see can change from workout to workout. In this case, what I'm doing is in through the nose, blowing out through the mouth. These are different pranayama breathing techniques, which I'm not going to try to give you the names on for a number of reasons. Amongst them, I don't know them all. My favorite is the a pranayama four cycle that I do that's a breathe in, hold, exhale, hold, all in the same cycles. Now, you want to see one more set. This is a knockout. Oh, I'm a Cambrai a woman in 58. Yay, 58, you're younger than me. All these kids, yay. Yeah, they did mess with me. I took my shirt off. It's back now, isn't it? They were messing. I had to hook up my internet. And they said it was a poor signal, finally. Now it's on the regular phone. Can you see me better? Yeah. Now, I'm going to do this other one. This is very simple, but it's going to be hard, even though it looks simple. And there's several movements. The breathing techniques in each of these is important because each one does a different set of muscles and allows you to do all the back muscles that you normally wouldn't be able to get to, except you're going to use your body weight. Okay, now I'm not sure which way is going to be best. But I'm going to try this so that you can see, maybe with both the mirrors. Okay, this one we bend over in this nice crouch position I showed you earlier. Okay, and then we're going to bend like this. And these exercises will vary. Okay, so to start with, we start off like this hands in front of us, palms together, elbows to our head. Take some nice breaths. Why don't we do 10 of those? Okay, and then there's the one, right? You're gonna swim. Breath stroke. In, out. Okay, then reverse. You're gonna do six of those. Then you come down here, you're gonna do ups. Okay, then, it's been a while since I did these. I almost need to go back to my workout. Okay, these are one of the ones you're gonna do is from here, from front. I'm forgetting one, darn it. I'm forgetting one. Um, you try to end like this, you can rest. Take a few deep breaths. I know you're all saying, what do you mean rest, huh? You know, so you can dance like this. Enjoy yourself. Stretch. When you get done, do like this. Whoosh. Pick it up. 
push. Breathe it in. And then down. Okay, those breathing exercises allow you to go ahead and move that oxygen through. This gives you a nice balance. Now, don't you feel better? I gotta push this in all the time to feel like conspicuous, but it stays in pretty good. All right, now, how about I give you more now? Okay, that's gonna be it for today. It's just a little morning get it together thing can we go ahead and build saltwater pool yeah and do the water yeah um actually you can do them in the pool too you don't need to anymore you want the body weight if you do this in the pool those are going to be harder the last ones i did in the pool because your head's gonna be underwater yeah but <laughs> some things you can do um dumbest tiny house thing i've not seen today james i'd love to see a picture of you dude I'll bet all 300 pounds of you must be incredible. Oh, truly, truly. Yeah, James, it's 65. Come, show me. Show me, dumb guy. Not tiny house thing you've seen. Guess what, dummy? You didn't come to a tiny house site. It's called tiny houses. That's because I made tiny houses. Got world renowned for it, James. Then I retired from that. Yeah, do all sorts of things. Because dumb asses out there don't. Well, some of them don't appreciate it, but other ones... Some of those people out there, they appreciate this. Mr. Welp, you take it easy. The rest of you, <laughs> if you can do it, please join me. Trinity does this. Trinity does this a lot. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a good time.